No, thanks, no. Sun shields for the camera. If I hadn't said it already, we're using up scraps, leftover bits of wood. I had to buy a couple new boards, but the rest is you know what we've got basically I've just put some screws in there 70 mil screws they're temporary because I think even if I doubled them up 
once these boards get wet and want to move they'll just rip them screws out and glue I very rarely use glue outside you know glue will last forever but the boards won't you know you might as well be gluing together a couple of paper sponges that's going to get flipped over but first I need to make two 4x4x frames that are going to get you know fixed on there somehow I've been told just to screw it together uh, come back to these screws I think I'm going to either coach bolt them but the legs might get in the way so I might just end up coach screwing them through like I've done on the benches here they'll match then anyway but whatever happens they'll be getting more than screws to go in whatever happens they'll be getting more than screws to hold it together right hot get these get these frames made I'm gonna half lap them in the middle and then I think they're just gonna get fixed on somehow coach screwed in some way Right, so I've measured the height of the table that's inside there and apparently that one's too high. So we've taken a little bit off, minus these two timbers. That gives me that distance there, from there to there. Put a pencil line on there, it's the same as that, so from that pencil line to there is a mirror copy of that that's almost like you know the far side of there is almost like the floor when I when I got to stand them all up so in theory if I sit this like a dot this is oversized but if I sit this like that Make sure all my, all my lines are marked up. Everything's marked. Make sure everything's in position. I should be able to mark that one and trim those off, and that'll be one of those. And then I just make, need to make four of them, or three more. I just need to check my measurements and everything, but then I'll just cut these use this one as a template It's got this piece here, gets in the way a little bit. See so as you come down, jams there, look. So you gotta lift it up to let it go past. Might end up cutting that off. Not ready to start butchering my saw up here though. So that's one. I'll make three more, use this one as a template. on it if you cut one with this then you cut one with the next you might grow the piece by the pencil line each time so you need to use the original one looks like a door doesn't it so got four of them cut got to work how to mark these centers now 
it's slightly different width than it is height so that's not 90 degrees I should have made it just the same I guess it's only about 20 mil difference but see I can I can line them up by eye but that's not very good is it so what I've done is I've put this one on here the right distance in and I think that one's about there so I think I can draw like a dot and put this one on So I think I can put that one on like that, mark that. I should be able to, you know, put a pencil line up there. I'll do it properly without the phone in my hand. But I think if I put a mark there. I can half lap that, sit this one back on. Now I've got them lines, I can mark that one the same. That's plan A. I think that's the way it's going to go. So that's my pencil lines, I've drawn them across. I put a pencil mark in the middle. So that's my pencil line there. Cut that out. Lots of lines, chisel, hammer. A bit tight. I cut this one first. That's going like that.
half the width of a blade off half a width too much about the same on that side yeah, it doesn't matter is that upside down? does it matter? It does matter. Where's my pencil? It does matter which is the top. Because on the top I've gone to that point, but on the bottom I've made it slightly wider. I've gone to like the outside point there. So top, top. Ooh. So I just marked it top. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to avoid using the the wide angle lens. I'll put it on that. See, that's the wide angle, wide angled lens, but it distorts the picture sometimes. So I'm trying to just keep it on the normal. One. I don't think that distorts it so much. Doesn't mean I've got to step further back to get it in the picture. Anyway, I'll do this one. Same. Might just sit it on the use them pencil lines. Something like that, I think. It may need, may need to come in a bit. That's partly why I only screwed those stretches on. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so I've just put that off cut under there. Move that leg in by the width of that. Before I start unscrewing that button, that stretcher, I think it looks better just in a bit. So that's what I'll do. And these boards, the ones that have been in the sun, it's fairly shaded this side, but these ones that are in the sun are pretty much closed up. 
there's a few open still on here but I think it's because they're shaded there you know so that bit hasn't stretched but these ones in full sun closed right up pretty much yeah it gets red hot does this deck like the plastic in your car Right, so I'll move that, that stretcher in a bit. Looks a little bit better. I'm going to put a central rail in. It's going to sit somewhat like that. I'm going to drill a hole in there. Piece of threaded bar right through into this. Into this one, obviously. Cut a slot so that I can get a nut on the end of the bolt that'll be going in the middle of that bar I think that piece is going to go somewhere like that